And the Lord would say to you today, because of your faithfulness, because you would not fear when the enemy lobbed his best shot at you, because you would not back down, because you set your face toward my face, because you chose my heart, my way, and my purpose. The Lord says, I am bringing you forth with a new anointing. The wind of my spirit will be at your back, says the Lord, and you will begin to notice the authority on your life. It has grown. It has increased because you have died to self a little more. You have decreased so that I might increase in you and through you a little more. You have gone forward little by little, inch by inch, but I am about to cause you to go miles and miles ahead. I'm about to launch you forward, to propel you forward into a place that you have not known, but a place that you've prayed for, a place that you've interceded about, a place that you've seen in the spirit, but you've not walked on in the natural. Because of your faithfulness, says the Lord, I will do this for you because I can trust you, because you have been tested. Just like I tested Abraham, says the Lord, I have tested you and you have come out like gold. I have tried you and you have come out with a new anointing. I have pressed you. I have crushed you and you are overflowing with intercessory prayer anointings that will break yokes. You won't even have to go and lay hands on the person, says the Lord. Just the prayer alone will break the yoke because you are in me and I am in you and I have counted you faithful and you will see and you will know that I am with you as you pray. No longer will you feel isolated. No longer will you feel alone because I am giving you a revelation right now of my very present help in your time of need. I am giving you a revelation right now. I am pouring it out in your spirit. I am renewing your mind with it right now that I am in your midst when you pray. You are never praying alone. You are always praying with me. You are always praying with me and I'm always praying with you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we say yes. Make us faithful. We want to be found faithful when you return to the earth. We want to be found faithful, God, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. In 2007, the Holy Spirit woke me up in the middle of the night and told me he would bring a third great awakening to the nation. I believe we're going to see the greatest great awakening in the history of the world and it will spill over into the nations of the earth for the glory of God. I believe we'll see a movement greater than all previous moves of God put together. And I know it's predicated on prayer. The Awakening Prayer Hub's mission in any city is to draw a diverse group of intercessors who have one thing in common, to contend for the Lord's will in its city, state, and nation. Bishop Bill Hammond, Lou Engel, Cindy Jacobs, Mike Bickle, James Gall, Alveda King, and many others are standing with us. Will you start a hub or find a hub in your city at awakeningprayerhubs.com?